last one. Hello, we're Baskery, and you're watching The Last Room Music. Yeah. I'm gonna say the whole. There you go. I don't think it's even close to full moon today, but. Hi, I'm Rachel. I'm Ari. And we're here today on behalf of both Lush and Lust because we're both Brand Chanel. Um, so, yeah. And we're here with the lovely Baskery. Hi. Hi. Okay, so um, first of all, for us, I kind of Lush and for Lust, we wanted to know sort of what the band are about, where you came from, um, how you started, that kind of thing. Oh, many, many things to say about that. <laughs> we are, well, we are sisters, yep. and we are from Sweden. And from have, Stockholm. Yeah. Some people say that's not Sweden, it's just a capital, you know? <laughs> <laughs> um, we don't know when we started because we're family, so it just happened all naturally, and uh, we do have kind of a starting year, and that would be 2007. So do you have like musical parents then? Is it your parents that have influenced you to yeah, get into music? Or? Definitely. Our dad used to be a one-man band. Uh, when we grew up, he would play pubs and bars and stuff like that. Oh. Bring home pizza. <laughs> pizza <laughs> uh, so, so music has definitely been in our family. Um, and then, well, he kind of told us to stay away from the music business. So. <laughs> it's good news. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah but it, it all happened in a natural way. For sure, it, it was never like a plan or something to become a musician. It was just the easiest way because our, our dad asked us, like, "How oh, do you want to come like on tour with me? Just play a couple of shows." And we realized it was easy money because you know you worked <laughs> for two hours. And, and I yeah. think he did that to scare us off. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> it was easy money then when you didn't have the responsibility of actually bringing home the money. But um, it was a good summer's job, you know, like yeah, we played yeah. with dad and had fun. And, yeah, and then we just ended up becoming musicians, which yeah. I. I kind of not laziness <laughs> yeah and <laughs> um, do you have any other musical influences then aside from family and that anybody you take inspiration from um notes yeah <laughs> but we say it's not so much about music anymore because i think you set your standards when you're a teenager mm -hmm. and that kind of always stays with you um but nowadays i pay a lot of attention to even like books and Movie. films yeah mm -hmm. uh, because when it's like a story that you get inspired from you just some, suddenly hear music it's a little sounds yeah. a little pretentious maybe but uh, that's definitely uh, more of the inspiration today at least uh, also I think timeless music in general has been a lot of the things we tend to listen to we, we are not much of like trends for trends and stuff so for us it's bands that have or artists that have had a like long healthy career that we kind of listen to anyway i think that's more our I yeah guess, that's our kind inspiration. of inspiration yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah people who know what they want to you yeah. know yeah. it can be any person but just like i'm gonna go get it, <laughs> <laughs> it that's inspiring um i wanted to ask sort of um from a writing point of view um obviously you guys are swedish but you sing mostly english mm -hmm. yeah. um how did that come about where did you make the decision to sing english we're nine million people yeah. in sweden that's it, and there are nine million, you know, people speaking Swedish. So if you want to reach out with your music, we have this big tradition in Sweden to to write in English. Um, I mean, bands like ABBA uh, started that. Rock, rock set, the Cardigans, the Hives, um, Robin, yeah. you name it. You know, like. If yeah. you want to reach up, yeah. it's just nothing strange. It's not like everybody, like as teenagers, even though you don't speak that well English, you just write songs. Like my first uh, lyrics were in English, and uh, then you know somebody told us like actually you could write in Swedish too. If there's a market for that, and we're like, uh, really? We tried that for a while, but yeah. then we went back to yeah, yeah. English pretty fast. I, I mean, think it's just a very narrow market singing in Swedish, and um, you feel if you play more like rock music and with a little more drive, um, you would. Oh make maybe a better career singing in Swedish. I mean English, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so do you ever are there any times where something just comes into your head in Swedish and you think do you translate that? Do you yeah. No really. Well not anymore. No. I think we actually do think about the ideas in English. Yeah, yeah. you come to a point when you yeah. master a language so well that yeah. you know, it's all you one language. To, yeah, yeah. Really. See, we we're both language students. Oh. Yeah. Well, we do French and English. Yeah. So awesome. it's, a degree, so. yeah. it's just quite interesting to see how you guys do it in a creative yeah. way. Yeah, I think because writing song lyrics, um, you have to narrow it down. 
a lot of the time, so I'm happy I don't I don't speak it like fluently. I mean, yeah. Because I, if I write in Swedish, I wouldn't know, you know, when to stop. Mm. That it would be songs like long. <laughs> it would take forever. <laughs> like, so I think I think it's a good thing, and it, we think we have an advantage because we we see. Um, the language differently and we, we can challenge to, it too yeah. we can like come up with new expressions that people wouldn't maybe dare because they know it's wrong and we exactly, like but yeah, yeah we can use that and i think also one we have one song that we well we wrote that our mom came up with this saying in swedish where she said like nobody's really nice but she said that in swedish and so we kind of that we took yeah, that phrase good. and made it into an english phrase so it happens yeah, um, so our show, kind of that we, we do a radio show as well, um, our show um, is based kind of online content. Um, and obviously, we tweeted you guys last night, um, so kind of a and stuff. Kind of, how have you found social media in terms of getting you know, the band out there? Are you promoting yourself through social media much? Do you find it an easy way to kind of connect with your audience? We're trying, but it's hard. I mean, we keep forgetting about the social media. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we yeah. do have a Facebook, and that we've had that for a few years now, so that's our main thing. But then you hear like Facebook, it's on it. It's way on its way out, and like yeah. Twitter is a new thing, and we have like Instagram. We like Instagram because we like taking yeah. pictures and stuff. So that's what we use daily. And then Twitter is just we're trying to. We don't get it really. Well, <laughs> <laughs> we get it, but it's it's, it's I don't e know. It's easiest to retweet. So I mean, yeah, we're yeah. trying to. We just retweet a lot of things. Yeah, but, but yeah, look at the flow on Twitter. I'm like, I the, all these hashtags <laughs> and all these like weird things, and then everything is shortened down to yeah. like I yeah. I, I, yeah, I, just I think it's it's great um, to have. I mean, it's a great tool for sure, and um, especially when we're abroad and people can follow us even from Sweden, yeah. and our mother is is looking. <laughs> like, I see people writing about you, and you know you don't have a lot of secrets anymore. And uh, like I think there's no mystique. No, no there's I'm not a lot of mystique. Um, away with all that shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but even when you you take vacations, like if you go on holidays, you, know, you feel like you should tweet or, or put a picture up. And I'm like, really seriously? It's actually yeah. a stress factor. You feel like, oh, we didn't put up, up something in three yeah. days. We yeah. we need to. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely know what you mean on that one. From, for our yeah. radio show, certainly, although we're based online, we kind of think like, you know, we want to tweet everything that yeah. we're doing, where mm. we yeah. our, our listeners are on the ball all the time, yeah. so it's going online, so I kind of yeah. get where you're coming from. Yeah, yeah. 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 it has, it has yeah. put more pressure on, I think, uh, on people in general. Oh, artists some people are really honest, they're like, you have to start tweeting, mm. like, oh, yes. yeah. but then you yeah. don't want to overshare no, that yeah. kind of thing. No, <laughs> yeah. no. That's uh, so you kind of want people to word by mouth, like finding about yeah. you and yeah. finding out about you, but it's, it doesn't really work that way. People are restless now. They are expecting to get fed with all these things, yeah. all this information is supposed to be available. And uh, yeah, I, I, I personally think it's a bit unsexy. Yeah, <laughs> if I may say so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Enough people love Twitter. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Just a more, kind of more personal question. I'm quite interested to know what it's like working with family members that closely. That's all we know. So I yeah, know. I bet. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Um, I think, like, we, we talk about this sometimes and that it's mostly an advantage um, because we don't have to discuss a lot of things because we know where we come from and we have the same influences. We were raised the same way, so the picture is kind of clear. Um, but of course, that can be a downside too, because we have the same influences, like the same picture. Um, I think I just saw it this way when when you asked and when you said that, because we have the same influences when it comes to music, and we're so used to always agree on these things. And then when we realize that we actually do have personalities too that are not necessarily the same, that's when we like, wait, why why don't yeah. we feel and think the same about this? And that's what you know we're 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 learning to to. Um, to work with that because yeah. that's a tough point to actually have personalities and to be yeah. individual still it's it's what we're struggling with. Yeah, we're more like one person yeah. really. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's like one big amoeba like moving around. Yeah. Or an extension like yeah. a three-headed monster. Yeah, yeah. Oh, definitely. <laughs> but at least with the family you can be honest. Oh, yeah, we're totally exactly honest. What yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. That is, it's great. It hurts sometimes. <laughs> yeah. But we're really good in, in making peace. Um, so, I mean, some people would say, like, oh, you get on so well together. And that it could be like days when we don't argue at all. And then you have Weeks one day which is like, oh my god, what's, on? what's, what's in the air today? Because we said, I could kill them all, you know? For no reason, really. Yeah. So, yeah. But, but it, it's mostly, it's mostly actually like a good thing to be working with family. And I, I think I, you know, would recommend it just for playing together to have that kind of dynamics, which is well much appreci appreciated. Yeah. yeah.
I want to ask as well, um, how are you finding being so far from home? I know you've got a job in Berlin. Is that right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, how are you finding being sort of in England? What's your impression so far? Well, we, we've been on the road for 10 years now, like oh, yeah. always, constantly touring. So we're gypsies. Yeah. <laughs> we, do, we do have homes, but we recently we lived in Nashville now for nine months. Uh, so we actually really moved there to try out the American market. And that was a new experience to actually, you know, we had a house there yeah. and a uh, car, everything. Like, yeah, we. Yeah, I think we adapt really fast. Yeah, and yeah, we feel at home after like one day in a new place. It, you just have to do that. That's like survival instinct. If you do what you do, it's and you almost get addicted to being away yeah. if you want to start because there's this excitement to wake up and not know. I'm sure there are happen. some people that don't want to hear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, but it, it's what it is, you know, it, it's just a very easy life to lead once you're you're out on tour. I mean, being on tour, it's just waking up every day knowing where, that you have to go to this place, you have to make it through the day, and it, the show is essential, kind of. Yeah, so and sometimes when you have time yeah. off, you get feel lost. Yeah. So you're like waking up and you don't know where to go, and you're like, <laughs> wait. Yeah. And you value time off too, like when you're finally home, like in your own apartment, it never gets boring. It's like, I'm gonna cook out like the whole evening, I'm gonna bake the biggest <laughs> cake, and, you know, it, it's for just, a month and then you get rest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So how much time do you get to yourself? How much time do you get off from touring? That much? <laughs> yeah. At the moment, yeah. it's, it's been, we just had kind of a lot of things happening this year um, and we wish like that we could take some time off but it's not the right time to do that because we just signed this uh, record yeah. deal and um, we will work a lot and <laughs> somehow it, it's it feels like it's inspiring that we are we're desired you know and that's a good yeah. feeling for sure to know that okay someone is waiting for that record to be made and that'll keep us going for a little while yeah yeah, yeah definitely so where's, where's next to you on the on the tour then? Well, t t t t t no, that's do you mean no, actually we're still yeah. tomorrow. We're still tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah, London, London, London. London. and uh, where's that place? Rabbit hole. <laughs> <laughs> Down in the rabbit hole. I think it's in Ardley. It's like in Essex actually. Yeah. I think uh, we're, yeah, we're finishing yeah. off in Essex. And we've seen most of the UK uh, actually. Um, we we love to. to play here. It's it's short distances to drive yeah. and uh, <laughs> you can sleep in. Uh, it's not like you have to rise at 4 a.m. like when you tour America. It's always like, you know, like this festival is close to the other and it's, it's still like seven <laughs> hours. Seven hours. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we love to tour here but then like this tour is going to be the last we do touring this year. We're not going to play anymore. We're going to go back to the States and and continue then, with um, recordings and well. And then we're going to have I think at least two or three weeks off around Christmas. <laughs> so. Yeah, it's gonna so be nice. nice. Yeah. yeah. So, do you ask for Christmas or Sweden for Christmas? Have to go to Sweden. We promise, mom. Mom. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We want the the Swedish treatment. Yeah. Like, you know, every yeah. country has their own traditions. Yeah. yeah. Like the gross food. Yeah. <laughs> Once the a year. Food. Yeah. It's yeah. not Christmas without tradition. No. 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 Gotta go home for Christmas. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Oh, well, thank you very much. Well, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank, thank you. Very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.